Thurman the Boys, we now have issue 91 of Hushet's Build the Titanic. Uh, in this one, it's not quite a mirror of what we did in the last one. There is, there's definitely some differences. Not massive differences, but some differences. We have got, oh, we've got windows. We've got six windows. That's not so bad. So there are windows. Uh, we've installed six of those. Uh, we are going to put together the bulkhead for the port side of the restaurant. Uh, bulkhead for the aft second class smoking room. Uh, and we're going to attach those in place. Um, and then we're pretty much done for 91. Um, we've got a funnel to put in. There's there's not, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's all relevant um, as we uh, continue on our problem on our deck, uh, which is kind of lovely once this is done. I mean, unfortunately, a lot of this detail and you're never going to see it. <laughs> you're just never going to see it. So these windows. You're never going to see them. You don't put them on. I mean, you would have to get like eye to eye with this thing to see through to see the windows. But we know they're there and that's what matters. Um, at the end of this one, we'll be talking about, as I spoke in the last one, about something that could have possibly saved more lives than the Titanic uh, that never happened. No one really knows why. Um, it's a bit of a weird one. It's one that lends to a lot of the kind of nonsense conspiracy theories about the sink of the Titanic. But that'll be coming up after the build. Um, we're going to crack this open and we're going to get started. If you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. It helps our channel massively and we really appreciate your support. Um, but without further ado, let's get this one open and let's get this one built. Okay, ducks, let's have a look what we get inside 91. Very similar to 90, but not identical to 90. Uh, LED board, standard. Wire, standard. Two types of screws. We've got APs and we have got more APs. So we've just got a bunch of APs. Uh, what else do we have? Let's see what's inside this one here. I think this is the funnel. Uh, let's have a look. That's the windows. So not the funnel. Uh, so hopefully there's a funnel in here at the end. We've got a problem. Yeah, we've got a funnel. Connector pieces, which you recognize, we've got two funnels. Three, no. Well, that's a lot of connector pieces. Because we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven connector pieces, two funnels. And then we have our bulkheads. There we go. Right, so let's get this built. Okay, so this is what we are working on in this issue. So we are going to fit six windows to the bulkhead. So we're going to put them in one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you do actually get uh, ten windows on this frame, so you're going to need those other four at some point. I don't know when, but don't ever assume, oh, these are surplus. Mm -mm, I wouldn't. We need those other four. I reckon. I reckon they go on there. Do they go on there already? Are we going to put these in already? Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, we are. So we're... <laughs> they're asking us to do this in a weird way, right? So they're saying, put these six on, then install this. Put these four on, then install this. I ain't doing that. I'm just putting them all in now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these windows out and then install all ten windows to these bulkheads. Okay, so it's both of those suitably windowed up. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're not working with this one. We're working with this one here. We're going to add some connector pieces to it. Now we are going to add... So look, one, two, three connector pieces. Let's get this one spun round. Uh, now, what I like about these is you can see the lug at the bottom. So your connector piece only got on one way, way, so you're not going to make any mistakes. So that one's going to slot on there like so. This one here like so. And then one more on there. Now we're going to hold these in place with AP screws. Nice and simple. So it's loaded. Yeah, it's, I mean, the windows are lovely and all, but you're never going to see them. I mean, mine's going in a case, so you're never going to see them. But, I mean, that's true of a lot of models. I mean, my Ecto-1 is beautiful, it's really nice, and it has got the most gorgeous engine, which you never really see, because it's all hidden by the uh, by the, uh, the hood, the bonnet, if you will. Um, and it's like underneath. We did the whole transmission system underneath. You can see these gorgeous um, exhausts. You never see them. You never see them. I mean, I've got a mirrored base, which helps. But typically, no. But we know it's there, and that's what matters. So we know that we've put the windows there. And if anyone ever has looked through and go, hey, there's no windows there. They can't, can they? Uh, right, so that is... That one assembled. Uh, now, it wants us to bring up the uh, the deck and attach this, but that, again, seems a little nuts to me. 
So what we're actually going to do is I'm going to put the connectors on this one as well. Um, so this one over here, this has four connectors. So we know how the connectors go. I'm going to put the connectors on, screw them together, then we we'll bring the deck up. Okay, so what we're going to do is now we've got the uh, all the connectors in place. I'll just show this one over there. You can see all the connectors there. Uh, we're going to take our bulkhead and we're going to slot this one in. And it's going to sit in here like so. Now you should have the slots. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. And now, you guessed it, AP screws. Hold this in place with three of the AP screws. Um, and this is coming together rather lovely. I mean, I will say this, that this is the, the least detailed deck of all the decks because you don't see this. I mean, Superstructure sat on top of all of it, so you don't need to put a ton of detail in it. But I would imagine there'll be supports to go into this. I mean, I can't, I can't back that up a fact, but I would imagine that's where we're going. Um, they have released as well what the next four are going to be. Um, and it sounds as though we are going to have this deck complete by the next four. Uh, also, I can tell you now, we get cranes in the next four. So we get two cranes. Those are the first cranes we get. And you are going to have to get crafty because we also get a little pair of... Um, like jewelry pliers almost is the best way I can describe them. They look like wire snips, they're not. They're little pliers. So we are going to have to bend and turn and twist um, little bits and pieces to make the crane, which is going to be interesting. Um, you either hear that and think that sounds great, or you hear that and think that sounds bloody awful. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing. Right, so that's that one in. Uh, we have another one to pop in here, the one, the first one that we built. The first bulk that goes at the front. So let me get that so you can see where the, the screws are going. Ooh. Right, so this one is going to pop in here. How the bloody hell does that go? Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Right, so that one's going to go in there, like so. And then we're going to screw this one in place with, again, using, you guessed it, AP screws. And we have some funnels to add, and then we're pretty much done. Right. This thing's getting so bloody long, it's uh, it's getting difficult to work on. Uh, okay, so there we go. We've got the four screws in here. Now make sure these are nice and tight down. Don't over screw. You don't want to you don't want to warp the uh, you want to bore out the plastic because then you've got a problem. Um, but make sure the downstairs so sits nice and flush. Now, I mean, even if it doesn't, because I've had a uh, viewer of the channel, Ivan, thank you for messaging us, Ivan, Ivan asked if, if uh, mine sat flush. As far as I can see, Ivan, yeah, it does. But the one thing I will say is even if it doesn't sit flush, the amount of deck that's going to go on top of this, by the time you screw it together, anything that isn't flush is going to be flush because it's all going to pull together. So I wouldn't worry too much. If yours isn't sitting completely flush, don't panic too much at this point because all this is going to get weighted down. So it's not going to be an issue. When everything else screws into here, it's not going to be a problem. I mean, I'll show you what I'm talking about. You can see these screw holes here and here, uh, and here and here. This is what's going to, that's going to get screwed down. So don't, don't, you know, don't stress too much. Let's wait until we get to that point before we need to worry about it. Because if you don't, you might want to, you might end up, um, Doing a mischief to it, you know, I'll do that. Right, so we have two funnels to put on. And I'll show you where they're going. They are going, put this on the side so you can see. Uh, they are going uh, here. You still can't see, I'll put it on the side, you still can't see. Right, let's get a better camera angle. So, this is where our funnels are going. They are going in here and they're going in here. Now, I normally say, don't use glue unnecessary. Don't use glue if you don't have to use glue. And I would normally suggest it for something like this. However, um, knowing that stuff's going over the top of here, I know this is going to be open so I can get to it. Uh, I don't want that nightmare. So these ones are just being glued in straight away. I, I'm not, you know, I can see that being a problem later on. I, I don't want one of these little funnels disappearing into the ship or anything like that and then having to go fishing for it. So I'm just, these are getting glued in place. And that is the end of that. Right, so let's get that one in. There we go, that's that one in. And we got one more. And 
this one's going to go in just here. There we go. So that is how those funnels are looking. And that is all we have to do in this stage. That is this one done. Whoop, I'm knocking things off. There we go. That's how we're now looking. So you can see our bulkheads on. And that's where we are. And that is all there is to do in stage 91. Let's have a chat. Of course, talking nonsense because there's another LED board to install. I'm just talking absolute nonsense. <laughs> uh, so you've seen us put LED boards in. You know what we're doing. Now we'll have a chat. So one done. Um, nice and simple. Nothing overly complicated about that at all. Um, in the next one, uh, we are installing another bulkhead. Um, and we are putting the final LED strip on the bottom of the promenade deck. And then we're also going to wire it and we're going to test it. See if it, um, if it all works okay. Um, so that is the build instructions complete for that. If you're just sticking around for those, thank you. If you are, however, hanging around for our Titanic talk. Um, we are talking about something that didn't happen on the morning of the sinking that was supposed to happen, but didn't. And it was very unusual. Um, so... Drills are quite normal. I mean, it's, particularly with maritime and Sunday morning, drills used to happen. It was it was habitual. That it was almost ceremonial. It was part of the entertainment for a lot of people. They'd watch it happen where all of the crew would come out and they'd run the lifeboat drills. Um, they'd put the plugs into the lifeboats. They'd lower them down X amount of distance on the sides, bring them back up, so everyone knew where they needed to be and where they were. Now, in the last one, we talked about the fireworks. Uh, that would have been addressed during the drill. Who does what where? Uh, so you are going to this one, you are going to this one, you're manning this one, this one, you're manning. They never did it. So on that Sunday morning, they were supposed to do it, and they cancelled the drill, and the drill never happened, which is weird, because there's never really been a solid reason why it was cancelled. However, had it have gone ahead, that night when the chaos ensued, they would have known what boat they're supposed to be manning because a lot of the um, a lot of the crew had no idea. They didn't know what boat they were going to, so it was just going at random. No one knew who was in charge of setting off fireworks when, at what time. They just didn't. They'd never gone through it, but were supposed to that morning, and they didn't, and they cancelled it. And no one, as no one really knows why. Now, the rumor goes that um, the captain wanted to lead the sermon on Sunday morning, um, because it was his last voyage, it was going to be his last chance to do it. And the, the, they state that the reason why it was cancelled so he could do that. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, it, there's there's a lot of people say that. There's a lot of theory behind it. Um, and this leads into a, a conspiracy theory. There's a lot of conspiracy theories that surround the Titanic a hell of a lot. Um which don't really hold a lot of weight. They don't, honestly, with just the, the gentlest glance of Occam's razor, they, they fall apart fairly quickly. Um, so one of them involves, it was an insurance job, and they go, and that's why they cancelled the drill. But well, not really, because for that insurance job to work at this point, uh, you need the captain to, to die. That's, that's what you need to happen. You, you need him to die. You need him to agree uh, to slaughter thousands of people and ultimately kill himself so they can claim insurance it's nonsense if you're going to claim insurance on the white sun you just slam it into a dock that's what you do you just as you were coming into um into new york you'd slam it into the dock or when you're returning back to the uk you you smash it into the dock um damage it beyond the point of repair and just say yeah that's it it's all right off that's how you claim the insurance you wouldn't wait until in the middle of the um the atlantic ocean sink it, kill all the people on board, and then take literally millions of pounds worth of insurance claims against you. That would be nuts, wouldn't it? Um, but it, it does seem very odd that they um, that they cancelled the drill. Now, the only thing I can think of is Captain Smith, and we're not going to go. We're not going to go too much into him because he is going to be the last ones. So the last Titanic talk we do will be about the captain. That's why we haven't got into it yet. So I don't want to talk too much about him, but he is relevant to this 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 kind of um, this piece of information about the Titanic. Um, the only thing I can think of is he, he seemed to really believe it. So the the unsinkable, I mean, it was never called the unsinkable, but he he seemed to be completely suckered in by the marketing that I can't ever see this ship going down. 
he was said a few things. He said that uh, the, the you know the technology got so so advanced at the time with the ships that there's there's nothing that's going to sink the ship. It just isn't. So maybe there was that. Maybe there was an air of arrogance about it, where it's like, well, it's pointless. We're never going to sink. So maybe he just believed the hype himself, and then you know it was then too late. And I'd imagine that haunted him in those final hours. But we'll we'll talk about him at the end. So we're not going to, we're not talking about Captain Smith until October of next year. But yeah, they did. So it, it's what sort of enhanced the chaos. No one knew what they were doing. Nobody knew what the protocol was. It's why everyone's kind of stood around for so for the longest time, the first hour of evacuation of the Titanic. It's just a bloody mess. And then the last part of it, again, it was just chaos. It was absolute chaos because no one knew. They, they just never ran the drill. And again, there's never been any solid evidence why that drill was cancelled. Captains do take sermons on ships. Um, well, they used to. I don't know if they still do, but they definitely used to. Um, so, it, it, I mean, it does hold some weight. And I mean, Smith was a, was a believer. Uh, he was practicing, and he was known to take sermons. And the belief is, because this was his last journey, that's what he wanted to do. Um, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But, yeah, that's that's completely true. So if you ever hear there was no safety, um, uh, Charles, that's, that's true. It's why... A lot of bizarre choices were made with lifeboats because they, they didn't know if the davits would hold. They would have found that out, wouldn't they, had they have run the drill? Um, it's, um, yeah, it's sad. It's just another, I mean, Titanic is a masterclass in how not to do something. And um, it, it displays it beautifully. And drills, I mean, we all hate them. I had one today, funnily enough, at work. We had a, a fire drill at work. I didn't want to go outside. It was cold. It was raining. But I just did. And I knew it was a drill. But the day that it isn't, I want to know where the exits are. Do you know what I mean? I want to know that we're safe. So as as much as nuisance as drills are, they do. They certainly do bear relevance. I mean, Titanic's a good example of that. If they had a drill, they'd know what was going on, but they didn't. It's very strange, but they never did. Um, and it was commented on that they definitely didn't because there was a survivor on board who was a, a frequenter of cruise liners, um, and it was it was part of his routine. He'd he'd watch the the kind of show on a Sunday where he'd see all the crew line up and whatnot. He that was his thing. And he says never happened. Didn't see him. So yeah, very unusual. But that's that's true. It's just another safety protocol that was just overlooked. Why you wouldn't run a drill is anyone's guess. Um, we've got an interesting story for the next one as well. So um, I'll, I'll keep it till then. But we'll be back very, very soon with um, issue 92 of Hush, Build the Titanic to finish out the month um, and possibly the year. Um, we we should be receiving one around about the 22nd or 23rd of December. Whether or not that's going to happen, I don't know because of Christmas postage. But if not, we should hopefully receive one in between Christmas and New Year's. I don't know. I hope so. Uh, anyway, 92 will be coming up very soon to finish out the month. And um, if you want to contact us, you can contact us at buildingtheboysoutlet.com. If you haven't yet, please remember to both like and subscribe. It helps our channel massively, and we really appreciate your help. Um, but until next time, in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice, and I'll see you very, very soon for issue 92. Take care, and I'll see you then.